Okay, let's continue this this tutorial tree. Now, in this second part, so in the previous, we started now and we had a very long uh, transcend. Okay, but we know that if we add a perturbation, we might be able to accelerate that transient. So this is what we're going to see in this case. So it is exactly the same as the previous one, but we're now adding a perturbation, okay? So see that how we do that using sec fields. So recall from the previous tutorial, tutorial two, the dam break problem. So now we use sec fields to initialize the vector field. So here we have it horizontal, and then we add an angle which if I will recall, will be uh, five degrees. And by adding just this simple perturbation, we will be able to unset the transient in a much faster way so we can save a lot of time. So this is a, a big advice that I can give you that is if for you is not of interest resolving that transient, it is strongly recommended to add perturbations to the flow just to get faster convergence, okay? And this is what we're doing here, okay? So the setup is exactly the same. The only difference is that we have sec fields. And see that now previously we use it for a scalar field. Now we use it for a vector field. So see the class, vector field. Okay, everything one zero zero at the beginning. And then in this box here, you give the coordinates, put put here this vector okay which by the way these coordinates they don't need to be exactly the same no at the dimension of the bulk of the domain or no, they can be larger okay you can have a larger domain it doesn't matter okay and this is how we run the case okay and look at the difference okay this is the start the previous case so running the previous case see that we have a a very long transient as about 150 seconds but now using this method See that we unset the transient in about 20 seconds, okay? And now, see that we have exactly the same results, but with a much faster comparison. So here you see that we run up to 350, but in this case, we don't need to do that. So we might be, so we might stop here at 100 seconds and we get the same results, okay? So these are some tricks and I strongly recommend it that if for you, this initial transient is not, it's not of interest. Try to add perturbations into your, your solution domain just to unset you know, instabilities. So we look at the residuals, okay, pretty much the same, but see that now as we have a fast uh, onset of instability, the results goes up you now here in that time faster. So let's see how to run this case. So here, just an explanation, but we saw previously the functionality, how to compute falses and some other tips. Now how to use new plot, for instance, here you have how to use new plot for, for computing statistics, okay? So let's move, okay, so some other options there and this is what we're going to do so let's move now to c3 okay so i just want to remind you that there are many cases here now so later we're going to address just four or five of these cases the most important ones to introduce you to a lot of features and best practice and tricks now as the one that we're seeing that so we just run c2 the previous tutorial c1 is exactly the same but we're using the mesh from black mesh now we go to c3 c3 is exactly the same this as this one but we use set, set fields okay so you have this new uh, script here just to do the post-processing okay so it's open here and as you recall this is nice the previous one okay this is how to to do the post processing after you have the simulation so you have different combinations there and so let's go and run this case okay straight straightforward by the way we're using block mesh to generate the mesh but you can also convert it from from fluent there is all another format so it's up to you to pick up one from now on all the meshes will be generated using block mesh which is exactly equivalent now to the to the one with fluent so let me go here and run solver. That's all. Now it's running. Okay, In initialize. So as you get your script, run solver. See that here we're using set fields to do the initialization. So let me open that file. That should be, okay, well. Let me go here. Uh, get it system set fills. See that here we initialize. 
remember all was the header and so on that we already discussed that so it's also if we open all and system and let me open all all files so see that this setup is pretty much the same so here you have the block mesh okay so later there is a lector just to see but see that how complicated is this block mesh just a very simple geometry as in there and see that it's very complicated it's very tricky okay it can be very tricky uh control dig pretty much the same so maybe we don't need to run up to 350 so see then SV skin, SV solutions, exactly the same, the different set fields. Okay, so if, if we look at this solution now, so let me use new plot, okay? And I know that in a script zero, you have this plot cof, it will plot the coefficients. And see so that already here in 20 seconds, you have the set of the stability and you can start to compute the statistics, okay? So again, we can go here and let me go and I call that three will be Python plot washer plot solver. And you have your residuals here. And here you have the force coefficients. Okay, so we speed up now the computation by a lot. Okay, <laughs> as you, you see. So let's say that okay that this is enough okay you you look at this signal and maybe yeah it's like this is a lot of information we, we have so let's wait for 100 and we can stop so see that we reach that time so i can put here 100 and it will stop or remember you can use this option so you raise this command and it will stop and save that last time step okay so has been done and if i go here you see that stop and save the last one and now you have your solution okay so we speed up greatly this computation you can compare you will see that the results are exactly the same okay the difference is that now we have a much much faster convergence rate so just to finish here and to show you that uh, let me go to the folder scripts 2 and here you, you, you have this new scripts in Python and just to show you what is happening there. So again, you need to launch Python 3. So let me go Python Python 3 and let me plot core, let's say CL. So this one will, as you see there, will plot the, the coefficient. Okay, da, 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 da. plot coefficient, okay. OS error. Okay, didn't find the location. I need to update that one. But for instance, this one PSD CD. Okay, so this one. Okay, again, vortex shading, OS post processing. Okay, so it's telling me that post processing here. Okay, and force coef. you have the data oh okay 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 i recall yeah is, is it yeah i need to uh, adjust the the time okay yeah it's not a problem it's just you need to open the the the, the script and then adjust the, the time that is reading okay so you go here you need to adjust the time okay because it's different time time windows but anyway so this, you, you can open that one run those scripts so it's using python okay so it's plotted in python and here it's just computing the, the dominant frequency okay that is very important now sometimes you, you want to compute a, a dominant frequency so if let me go here that may be in one of these directories i think i already have a jpeg okay okay there is no no jpeg but okay we can run it later so this is it okay the post processing is pretty much the same so now look at that we have this and let's say that i want to run now the new script that run post process okay of9 okay so it's just computing those function objects that are defining or those additional fields instead of function functional objects are on online now we're just computing uh, additional fields a posteriori after having the the, the the simulation so as you see 
take a look at this file, see that basically we run these commands and see the different options, okay? So there are many of these, okay? So remember that you can use post-process, list, and it will give you a, a list. You have many options, okay? So this is also, well, let me go also part of on just to, let, let's take a look actually at the initialization and everything. So see that our initialization is this. Okay, let me do this better. So see that we have here zero and then here you have a component and this, it is enough to unset the instability here and then you're going to have that, that vortex shedding almost immediately. So that you go there and you have it there. So better look at, let's look at pressure. So okay, we start and immediately due to that perturbation, you have the unset and you are saving all that uh, initial transit. So these are tricks now that uh, honestly I recommend you most of the time I use these tricks because uh, I'm not interested in the, in the initial tra transit and it does not affect the accuracy or stability of the solution. In fact, it's much better to do it than that. Okay, uh, that's, this, that, that's all for this case. Now, now we are going to move to uh, another one. Okay, so I'm going to show you a new, another way, another solver is a potential phone that we can use to have an initialization. So in this case, we we added this perturbation, but also we can use a potential solver to compute an initial condition and use that initial condition and a starting point, okay? So this is the object of the ne next tutorial. So thank you, see you next video, bye.